guess. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, share this video with your friends, if you don't care about it. It doesn't look like much more, I don't have a miser, but yeah, just try to find them out and if you will succeed. Um, just share this video with them. Um, yeah, um, I'm uploading my new video about my new PC and it seems it will uh, do it for rages, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's quite a bad, you know, but the life is life. Uh, so yeah, today we are going to talk about uh, socket programming and uh, if this is right, yeah, I think this is right. Uh, yeah, and so as you can see, I just you know use chat GPT for it. Um, but maybe no, maybe you should not use chat GPT for it. Okay, one second, I will open my GitHub and I will try to see stuff. Okay, so here is my GitHub and uh, yeah, I will just search like socket samples, something like that, so something not really like, okay, and we will select like C language here at the bottom, so hook socket sample, C socket programming, yeah, I think this one will be, will be okay. Okay, so we have a folder here, okay, so it's good because uh, we see that we have like two files, one for client and second one for a server. And yeah, remind me, I need to create a video uh, where I will create a tool or download and uh, find out the tool for pronunciation and stuff. I, I really want to check this out. Okay, so let's begin, right? right? So let's begin with the client. So of course, client is the one who is actually knowing uh, the server that he will try to connect and actually will try to connect to it. And after that, probably he will send something and probably he will receive something, okay? The server, the server is a little bit different, okay? Because the server doesn't know anything about his future clients, right? So if you are connecting like, I don't know, uh, MMO, like game, of course you will not know like who will actually play it. So you create a server and uh, it, it must like, it must be open for everybody, right? So the client is actually like trying to connect to only one specific server, and the server is trying to like answer and uh, to everybody, right? So this is like the main difference. Okay, so let's go client. Okay, so of course we like include stuff. Okay, it's of course, but the main point here is that here we create a socket, and the socket is basically the object that actually uh, lets you like communicate, right? So this is why like it's called like socket programming because basically it's all around sockets, right? So here we say like uh, some parameters and basically here I say no, we can really like specify we want TCP or UDP. And if you don't know the difference, basically TCP is like uh, this connection is like making sure that everything will be delivered and UDP is not, uh, it is not guaranteeing that everything will be received etc. But it requires like some speed uh, and it's logical because in TCP after you send something you receive the feedback that, uh, that this was received and in UDP you don't uh, get this feedback. So you just send continuously without receiving anything. Uh, and yeah basically that's all. So here we just like specify some uh, address so this can be a server and the port this server and yeah basically that's all so you actually connect to the server and after that I don't know you want to send for example something so you basically like uh, allocate create some message and then you like here for example we get this message from our terminal and then basically you call so send and basically that's all uh, to receive something you just call read and yeah basically that's all so yeah, it was kind of easy, right? But yeah, the life is pretty easy, you know. Uh, and the server itself, of course, is creating like some uh, includes. I don't see any point on this one. Uh, at least for our explanation and demonstration, it is like signal stuff. And it is like advanced topic, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, by the way, socket is like pretty simple, pretty uh, 
to the same. Uh, here we like specifying like uh, this address because like it's actual like server, so it's our like local local. So in any server you will specify this address. This address is means like this PC, okay? So itself. And of course we specify the port number on which we will create our server and need to listen. So this port should be the same for client and for server. And that's all. So of course you will bind something, but uh, yeah, you will bind like socket to the address, blah blah blah. And then basically you just listen, okay? And yeah, and that's all. So uh, then we write run like uh, entire like uh, infinite loop, right? Because you uh, want to launch server uh, to run it infinitely in theory so yeah and in this loop you basically just accept like some new user and if it actually comes here then we proceed with next code and yeah so we get some options blah 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 blah, blah. and yeah basically we just like receive some message from our user we save it of course to our some buffer and after that we can send like him the read reply okay yeah and I don't know guys basically this is it so so there is nothing like special in sockets okay so of course there's like like some bad topics like I don't know maybe some protocols and other tricky stuff but the basics are pretty simple and uh, yeah so the basics are pretty simple again but if you of course will dive deep you will of course you know it is like really hard you know yeah but it was the basic tutorial, the basic tutorial on socket project. Okay, so leave a like, put a comment, subscribe to the channel, share this video, and look at friends who don't have them. Enjoy.